animals are pet lovers. We like to keep animals in our homes like cats, dogs, hens, roosters, and animals have many functions in our life. They serve as security guards, bantay sa bahay, they are our friends, companions, we even treat them like our kids. So it's not surprising to find out that studies show that we don't only enjoy animals, our pets, they actually have beneficial effects to our mental health. Some of these beneficial effects include improving our blood pressure, stabilizing our heart rate, decreasing our stress level so that we could uh, improve our performance at work and in school and decreases our levels of anxiety and depression. Balay Kaibigan um, is the home of the emotional support dogs and the Sagip scent dogs. So there are about 12 to 15 dogs staying there. Uh, the Sagip canine program aims to train dogs, campus dogs, um, so that they can find missing people, animals, and articles or things in case there's an emergency in UP, like uh, there's an earthquake or fire or floods. Okay, Arwen is a seven-year-old Japanese kid. Um, recently, she's been, well, about a couple of years ago, Pre-pandemic, she's been appointed as one of the emotional dogs of UP Diliman during the term of uh, Chancellor Mike Tan and DC Major Wins. And you know, she's been a great, great help to a lot of kids, especially the UP Pet Squad. So every time they have a short break, they run to Arwen, play with Arwen a little bit to relieve them of the stress of training. And as our own anak, no? Which is really great. Um, you know, when Eloy and I can, well, would have some small conflicts or arguments, our when will neutralize the charged atmosphere. Okay, so yeah, she's such a joy. Bora is a rescue dog two years ago. She left in front of our house, um, matted, very matted, and we didn't know na meron siyang liver disease. I asked the dean, actually, kasi walang mag-aalaga sa kanya na iwan nga lang siya sa house. So, I asked the dean if pwede siyang dalin sa office. So, pumayag. <laughs> so, pumayag sa, ayun, araw-araw ko na po siyang dala doon. Tapos, yung mga students, um, binansagan na siya ng associate dean. <laughs> Yun, kasi nga, aso. <laughs> And ngayon, since it's pandemic, palagi niyang nami-miss yung mga sounds ng mga kids. Meron siyang constant um, playmates na pumupunta talaga every afternoon or every lunchtime, tas nilalaro si Bora. Tas yung mga kids ng mga faculty, sometimes dinadala rin siya dun sa faculty rooms, tas doon, tas si Heramin siya, tas ibabalik lang din ulit. Diba, some students like big dogs, some students like small dogs. So at least there's a choice of the dog that they want to, to bond with when they're feeling stressed or harassed. Lahat sila ay uh, nag-enroll at nakatapos dun sa parang emotional therapy dogs. Yung emotional support kasi is not always in the form of uh, human counseling, di ba? So minsan, all it needs is really a, uh, lalo na kung mahilig sa aso, kung mahilig sa pets. Dati nung mga madaming athletes na nagpupunta dito, makikita mo instinctive yung mga tao na they will pick up and just stroke the dogs habang nagkikwentuhan. Diba? It's so distressing to be with a pet who is not more harassed than you. Now, these are the reasons why animals are now strategically being used to provide psychosocial support in places like schools, 
hospitals and public places. Um, mental health professionals are developing activities, making use of animals to facilitate a sense of well-being and an experience of having emotional support. So we call it Balay Kaibigan because it's supposed to be a place um, for friends of all species, dogs, cats, people, um, where they can, uh, you know, people can go there to relax. Um, if you're a student and you're so stressed with your um, ACADs, then you can go there and just play with cotton, for instance, and yeah, uh, become relaxed. So that's Balay Kaibigan. So let us remember, Whenever we are taking care of our pets, whenever we're having fun with them and taking care of them, we are also taking care of our mental health.